This free step-by-step -step video comes to you directly from Haynes, creators of the world's best repair manuals. Fix your car or truck the right way with our accurate and reliable information at your side. You can complete more than 200 jobs on this vehicle when you purchase the complete online manual at Haynes.com. Remove the cap from the brake fluid reservoir. To prevent brake fluid from possibly overflowing the reservoir when the calipers are fully retracted, use a syringe or suction gun to remove the brake fluid until the reservoir is approximately half full. Raise the vehicle and support it securely on jack stands. Block the wheels at the opposite end. Remove the wheels, work on one brake assembly at a time, using the assembled brake for reference if necessary. Before disassembling the brake, wash it thoroughly with brake system cleaner and allow it to dry. Position a drain pan under the brake to catch the residue. Do not use compressed air to blow off the brake dust. Depress the piston into the bottom of its bore in the caliper with a large C-clamp to make room for the new pads. Alternate from one side to the other to depress the piston evenly. Make sure the fluid in the master cylinder reservoir does not overflow. Remove the lower caliper mounting bolt. Then rotate the caliper up for access to the pads and hang it with a length of wire. Remove the outer brake pad and shim. Remove the inner brake pad and shim. Remove and inspect the pad support plates, then reinstall or replace if necessary and lubricate them with a light film of high temperature brake grease. Clean the mounting bolts. Slide the upper bolt from the mounting bracket along with the caliper. Then apply a coat of high temperature brake grease to the sliding surfaces. Snap the shims to the back of each pad, then apply anti-squeal compound to the outboard side of the shims. Install the pads in the bracket. Swing the caliper down and install the caliper mounting bolt. Tighten it to the torque of 65 foot-pounds.